hi guys and welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to show you what i got for my birthday from my sisters they just knew how to get me they got me the game of thrones urban decay palette and i am so happy about it that i'm even wearing my game of thrones pajamas because why not what other way to show you guys my Game of Thrones palette and do my eyes with it. So I'm going to show you it when I open it up. So it comes in like the box and it's got all the colours on the back. And then when you open it, it's like a book. So it's got the map. And then the outside is like the back of a, like a spine of a book. And when you open it up, you've got your gorgeous mirror. And it says here, Lannister Targaryen. Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top, then that one's on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. Daenerys Targaryen. And then, if you pull this little thingy, ah, we've got the Iron Throne, which is super exciting. I'm so obsessed. And then in there it says, never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armour and it can never be used to hurt you. Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion, the wisest man in the galaxy. Galaxy? Land? I'm not sure. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. And then you open this out like so. And actually you can take this out all together which I really enjoy because you can just like use this as like a palette then and you don't have to have the whole the whole thing in your hand. Um, so I am loving every single one of these. I love that we've got like the Targaryens, then the Lannisters, then Winterfell, and then the White Walkers up the top as well, which I just, I'm obsessed with. So I am going to do a look with this today. I love that it's kind of like, it's got some crazy colours in there, but it also, like, we can definitely use this to do quite a neutral look, which I think I'm going to do today. Just, like, quite a, you know, an everyday look that my everyday is obviously a bit more extra than your average Joe. But, yeah, it actually really reminds me of the Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay, the original one. So not the one when the second movie came out, but the, the first ever Alice in Wonderland palette. And I really... I really liked that palette so I love this so I'm gonna grab a brush I'm actually gonna go in with my all-nighter setting spray so I have my foundation and my you know my contour and stuff on oh, that's a little bit muddy there and I'm just gonna spray my face with some all-nighter as kind of a prime for my eyes and I think I'm gonna start with quite a big big old brush if I can find one <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use my Spectrum B06. I'm just going to make sure it's clean-ish. Yeah, it's clean enough. And I think what I'm going to do is go in with... I'm going to go with Lannister Red to start. I know it's quite dark, but I'm going to use this as like my kind of transition shade. I'm going to use it here. And use it as I would a, tra a transition. These colors are so pigmented, so soft, they blend so well. There's a lot of shimmers, which I'm not usually the biggest fan of, but I'm loving it. Then I'm going to go in with Numer Numeria. Yeah, this guy here. And I'm going to use that on the outer um, crease for more of a transition as well. So it's a bit warmer than the Lannister Red. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna go Lannister Red on the crease. like so and 
and then Nymeria to blend it out a bit more. This side isn't blending as well. You see there, there's a little bit of patchiness, which is strange. I've never really used eyeshadow primer. I usually just like put foundation and concealer on my eyes. Um, so maybe that is something that I should think about. Because, I don't know. I feel like I have definitely started to do a bit more, more outrageous looks. So now I'm just getting Numeria, the same colour. I'm just blending the whole, the whole crease out. Again, the bright side is just looking a bit more, a bit darker than the left. It's okay. And I'm going to get a different brush. I'm going to go with my um, kind of round elf brush. This is called Blending Eye Brush. And this has some blue left over on it. So I'm just going to wipe that off. And with this little brush, I am going to go in with the Winter is Here. This guy here. It's a shimmery cool brown colour. I'm going to tap it off a little bit. It seems quite quite pigmented. And I'm going to just go into the outer corner with that. Oh, it's actually not really showing up that much. There we go. There's a little bit of fallout happening on my cheeks, I think. Just a little. But we can we can mop that up afterwards. And I'm gonna do this on my outer corner. Lovely. I love how I said this was like an everyday look. It's kind of smoky, but I would wear this every day. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna tap out the fallout there with my powder brush, and I'm, I'm gonna highlight after anyway. That's fine. So now I am going to do my under eye. I'm gonna get a nice thin shadow brush. That one has blue on it. I'm gonna use this guy here, which is a defining eye brush from e.l.f. as well. And I am gonna use, I really wanna use Take the Black, but I did say it was going to be an everyday look, so I won't. I'm going to use the Weirwood leaves, which is kind of a dark purple. Reds and purples are just like, like, like burgundies. Oh, it's just my favourite. I'm just going to brush this through my lower lashes. It's a bit cooler than I was expecting. I like it, actually. So I'm going to bring that like just over halfway across my lash line and into my waterline a little as well. The same over here. About halfway of my lash line. Building it up a little at a time because it's quite a dark. There we go. And again, I'm just going to brush the fallout off. I could have baked under my eyes and left it there, but it's not that bad, to be honest. So that is the under eyes done halfway. And now I am going to use um, a concealer brush. This one here. This is just a primer concealer brush. And I am going to go in with Red Keep. This one here. Kind of like a warm gold and I'm going to use this on my uh, inner corners and kind of under eye to blend through to that purple. Oh my god I love that. Oh, I, love that. I think that looks so nice. I find my inner corner is so difficult to do and I think I don't know if it's that my eyes go like so close to my nose or that my nose is really small or that I just have quite watery tear ducts but I just find that even if I put a shimmer in my inner corner 
it's like gone within a couple of hours. There we go. So that's blended right down from the purple to that kind of warm peachy gold. And now I am going to go in with a shimmer. Mm, the question is which one? I think I'm going to use Bay of Dragons, this guy here. And I'm going to just use my finger for this and tap it onto the centre of my lid to brighten it up. Oh my god, it's so magnificent and beautiful. Oh wow. Can you even? So nice. Do the same on this side. Tap it all into the middle. Oh, I love this. I actually love this. I think these ones on the side here are like extra shimmery and then these ones are just regular shimmers. And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend out the crease again. So that it's not too wild. And then I am actually going to use a little bit of this shade here, King's Landing, with my baby finger and just put that on the inner kind of on the inner corner of my lid. Blend it up. There we go. And now I am just gonna add some mascara. <laughs> Could do a liner, but I feel like, I feel like the eye look, you know, if I want it to be like an everyday look, kind of speaks for itself. I am using the Primark Aqualash because you know what? I like it. Not as good as Roller Lash, but I feel like for the price point, it's unbelievable. It's literally like three pound, or maybe even less. I think it was three euro fifty. So it's either like three pound or two pound fifty. And it's really good. I kind of want to try every single Primark mascara now. Um, I got this one for going to Spain so that I could wear Mascara, kind of like going to the beach, going to the pool, because it's uh, waterproof. And I love it. Look at that. Look at that look. I have to say, I'm definitely a culprit of um, doing kind of the same kind of look with every palette. But that is just kind of my everyday thing. And I do think this is a little bit different. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit shimmery. Er, more shimmery and um, I think it's really really pretty and I just love Game of Thrones and I feel like this is the kind of palette that is like like kind of like a collector's thing you know it's not like I remember I had the Oz the Great and Powerful palette and I used it all and I just loved it so much but then it was all gone and I was like oh my god I can't get this again and I loved it Um, so I think I'll probably like save this and not use it too often um, I do love it, but I kind of love that it's also like a collector's item um, because I love Game of Thrones. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed me playing with my Game of Thrones palette. And please do like if you like and tell your friends and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, go do it. Go do it now. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.